My name is Ibrahim Latunde Olukodano. I am presenting my paper titled Kriegen Bootstrapped DNN Hierarchical Model for Real Time Seizure Detection from EEG Signals. Here is the outline of my talk. Why do we need seizure detection? Approximately 10% of the world population will have at least one experience of seizure in their lifetime. That is a whooping. 800 million people all over the world. That is why we need to pay attention to this problem of epileptic seizure in the human race. Also, people living with epilepsy experience a higher mortality rate of about 44% compared to the general population, which has a mortality rate of 12.2%. Timely epileptic seizure detection is an important first step towards effectively managing the seizure disorder and by implication reducing the mortality rate. As you can see from this figure, that when there is seizure de detection, there is um, a timely intervention, there can be timely intervention and the seizure can be easily controlled. When there is no detection, it can lead to death or fatal injury. These are the characteristics of EEG signals, which are collected from the brain for the purpose of detecting uh, seizures. Complexity is high, intensity is low in the order of microvolts, and frequency ranges between 0 0.5 and 30 hertz. These are the research problems for seizure detection uh, you know, research. The challenges we have is in collecting custom data sets. Collecting custom data sets is difficult due to stringent regulations involved in collecting data from live animals and human subjects. And also it is difficult to test on human and animal subjects for the same reasons. So we have to rely on public data sets for all our experiments and simulations. For that reason, and it is also difficult to estimate the level of noise from this uh, public data set because we don't know the condition of the environment in which they are collected. These are related research works in seizure detection. These are the works that involve the use of EEG and machine learning. There are other works that does not involve the use of EEG in seizure detection. In the industry as well, work is ongoing to solve the seizure detection problem. For example, this is IBM's implantable seizure detector that uses a neurosynaptic hardware whose size is about the size of a postage stamp, and then it is implanted in the brain to be able to detect the seizure. There are also consumer electronics products in the market for detecting seizure. For example, this uh, device the works by detecting the conductance level of the skin. It's a wristband that you wear on your wrist. When there is seizure, the conductance level of the skin is high. So they set a particular threshold. And once the conductance level rises above that threshold, a seizure is flagged. The drawbacks of existing works includes the eye, the eye seizure detection latency, complexity of the models, which makes them unfit for deployment in the internet of medical things, lack of adequate intervention mechanisms after detection. Seizure detection is useless if nothing is done afterwards to rescue the, uh, the, the seizure uh, patient from death. Research question and hypothesis. DNN has been used for seizure detection, but one letdown of DNN is that it has a high training time because it's going to learn the representation between within the data set before making the final prediction. So our research question goes thus, how can the training time for a DNN be reduced in seizure detection applications without compromise in performance? Secondly, since Kriegen methods can estimate 
from the known data highly correlated values, which are previously unknown, will intermediate output from a Kriging model improve DNN training time? These are the questions we aim to answer in the course of this uh, presentation. Novel contributions of this paper. This is the first Kriging bootstrap hierarchical model to the best of our knowledge for real time seizure detection. Furthermore, the proposed model in this paper achieves a 75% reduction in training time and also improves the performance of deep neural network by at least 2.5% after training on the same data size and the same DNN architecture. The brain has a special map. It has been discovered that the brain can be modeled like a geographical map. For example, you can see here on the left, this is the map of a brain with various locations. And on the right, we also have uh, the, a geographical map also with different uh, data points. It has been discovered that the hippocampus region of the brain contains some cells which generate maps for recognition and navigation. That is similar to what happens also in a geographical mapping system. It is also used for recognition and navigation. For this purpose, we feel that Kriging, which has been highly successful in geostatistical application, may also be suitable for analyzing certain you know, conditions in the brain. That is why we have been using Kriging. And then we are also trying to use Kriging now to reduce the DNN training time for seizure detection. Kriging. This is how Kriging works. You have known locations with known values, and then you have certain locations with unknown values. By estimating the spatial continuity, the relative covariances and autocorrelation of all the known points with respect to the unknown, we can estimate the value at the unknown location. Motivation for this work. Although training is not done in real time, in an edge device that is attached to the brain of a seizure patient, a quick turnaround is needed to consistently update the already trained model that is used in a real-time seizure detection system. We cannot train inside the edge device. We can only put the trained model inside the edge device, but we consistently need to update the trained model inside the edge device so that it will be sensitive to changes in the EEG signals coming from the brain. To be able to do this, we need to do a fast training so that as soon as new and changing data is available from the brain of the patient, the model is also able to respond to the changing signals. Otherwise, we'll start getting bad results and the results, the performance will start deteriorating. So that is why we need a fast training. So that's one of the motivation for this work. Another motivation is that Kriging tends to become slower when data size and feature dimension become high. And this is where DNN shines. We have used Kriging methods alone in our previous works, but when the data size is increasing and feature dimension is getting high, Kriging becomes slower. And DNN shines in this area with DNN performs better, thrives on high data size, and high feature dimension. So a synergy of Kriging and DNN will be symbiotic. They will be beneficial for a fast training and then a better performance, even with high feature dimension and large data size. This term bootstrap is, as used in this work, was borrowed from bootstrap sampling. You can uh, look at the paper for uh, detailed explanation on this. For the constraint of time, I won't dwell much on that. But the word bootstrap is obtained from just like a boot, as you can see here, 
these are bootstraps. This enable you to be able to pull the boot on with ease. So it simply means getting oneself through difficulties only with the resources at one's disposal. So bootstrap rigging refers to the process of bootstrapping refers to the process of increasing the correlation between data points in the sample field by increasing the number of data points by unit area. That is the context we have used this term in this work. For example, if you look at the left-hand side, you see that the data points are sparse. That means they are less correlated. By bootstrapping it to what we have on the right-hand side by applying, by bootstrapping using Kriegin, we now have multiple points that what we have on the left all the blue points are the bootstrapped points now you can see that the correlation increased shorter distances between those points by increasing the correlation in this way and we pass the data into the dnn the dnn is going to spend less time in learning the intrinsic relationship and representation within the data points and hence that will result in a faster training this is the uh, figure for the proposed training for the proposed Kriegin bootstrapped DNN model. From the brain, we collect the signals, we generate this, the Kriegin model, and then the output of the Kriegin model, which is now highly correlated, is passed into the DNN, which will now spend less time in training and obtaining the final seizure state. So uh, this is the DNN. We see the um, the cost function here, and then we do forward propagation to um, obtain the cost function, and then we do backward propagation to obtain the weights and the biases. Like I said earlier, the proposed hierarchical model generates a highly correlated intermediate data set from a Kriegin model, and once the data set is passed into DNN, DNN trains in less time to obtain the final output. This is just explaining the uh, training or learning process that I have explained in the previous slides. The data set used for this work is popularly called the Bonn data set, which was collected from Bonn University in Germany from both LD patients and seizure, LD subjects and seizure patients. It is collected using a 128 channel EG system sampled at 173.61 hertz. You can see a healthy signal here, and this is a typical seizure signal. There are also other data sets like the MIT SCALP data sets, which we have also used in some of our other works. Features extracted. There are many features that can be extracted, but we have used fractal dimensions, jot parameters, and uh, SVD entropy. So these are the results obtained. This is a baseline DNN, and we can see that for a very good testing accuracy for the 90, which is 97.5 percent, you have to train for about 200 seconds and use 50,000 epochs. Now look at the other one, our proposed model, Kriegin Bootstrap DNN model, you only need to train for about 81 seconds to obtain 100% accuracy, and you achieve that in just 10,000 epochs. So this is the DNN architecture we used, comparing the best performance of DNN and that of our proposed Kriegin DNN, we discover that our method trains in 75% less time and 30 times reduced epoch, as well as 2.5% improvement in testing accuracy. These plots are just showing the improvement in training time and the training epoch. So we compared with other models, we see that we have a very low latency that is less than one second in our, our proposed model, and then we achieved an accuracy and sensitivity of 100%. This is the conclusion. Uh, we have, this is our future direction. And then these are the references uh, we used in this work. Thank you.